C L A. What does it stand for? I'll is say it what good? it stands for. You tell them what it is. Okay. Boom. Conjugated like linoleic acid. Is what C L A stands yeah. for. Chris, Promote, can you break yeah, down what C L A does, and is it actually a supplement somebody should be adding into? Uh, I want to talk about. Stack. So you you do that, and then I'm gonna talk about the adding it. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay, so C L A is uh, is a fatty acid. Yeah, my genius with me. It, uh, it's, He's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> it's very very beneficial to you. You can actually get it through your diet if you're eating grass fed beef, grass fed dairy. Um, it's important that I, you note the grass-fed part because if you eat conventional dairy, conventional meat, it's very, very low in CLA. You're almost not getting anything in there. But if you're eating grass-fed as uh, nature intended, you're going to get it from your diet. Oh, and I gotta, I gotta, I'm going to plug Primal Body because you know how we roll to talk about should you add it. All right. So, first and foremost, if your diet is full of bullshit, you shouldn't be taking supplements, period. So the person that is eating refined, refined carbs and sugar and processed bullshit that thinks that they're going to take this pill and all of a sudden they're going to have abs, you're mistaken, you're wasting your money. In fact, just send it to me and I'll do something good. We're actually going to get ready to go to Toys R Us to buy some, some toys for some kids. I'll put it towards that because it's better served that way. Now, here is my theory on trying new supplements. All right, Start with the basic, start with the foundation. BCAAs, a greens blend, fish oil, a protein, right, glutamine, right, there's a few things, there's like four or five that I like to, that I like to start with, right, so you have your supplement stack, right, here it is, and you're taking this consistently, your diet is dialed in, these are supplements, they're not meal replacements, they're not taking place of your meals. These are in addition to eating whole foods from as close to nature as possible. We're never going to tell you that supplements are the answer. The supplements with the whole foods diet become the answer. Okay? So here is, you have this, you're taking this for 30 to 60 days, your diet is dialed in, you understand exactly what's going on with your body, you're looking in the mirror, you're taking measurements, you're assessing your progress. Now all of a sudden you see a CLA ad or you see something else and you want to try it. You go into GNC and what I don't want you to do is walk out with more than one thing because the guy, at the, the guy at the counter who is incentivized to sell you X, Y, and Z tells you you need X, Y, and Z to make the CLA work because that's bullshit. You go in, you see the ad, you're curious about it. There are some good benefits to CLA. You grab the CLA by itself, you buy it, and you add it to your supplement stack for 30 to 60 days. Then you start to assess the differences in your body, your energy, your focus, your mood, by adding one supplement to your supplement stack, not going and buying all the bullshit that is recommended that day. If you decide that that supplement in and of itself has proved to be worthy for you, your body composition, your mood, your energy, and all of that, then you keep going with it. Then you see another ad for something else and you wanna try it. One at a time you add to your stack not more than one because if you go and you buy creatine and you buy pre-workout and you buy nitric oxide and you buy the CLA and you combine it to your supplement stack in 30 to 60 days you have some results can you please tell me what was it of those four supplements that caused the results because now you're buying four things you're spending $150 more a month and it could be just the CLA that's working right follow me Preach! Boom. That's what I'm talking about. I love when my boy gets fired up like that.